No, no, no. Um, so uh, academics uh, brought up a strong point because he they he hit, got robbed. They told they said we nigga hit. relax. <laughs> let it's us like, got that's down. how you be in real life too. <laughs> let like, us nigga, shut the fuck up. <laughs> let me explain. Let us introduce you, nigga. God damn. <laughs> Like how the fuck you accidentally got down pop? He definitely does that in real life. I would be but nah, so uh, academics was talking about how um, his robbery situation happened, and I'm gonna just run a clip and then we'll talk about it. Who he got a robbery they hit with? The, they told me they said we hit the warrants, we got everything. So she, she apparently she was casing the crib. Like when she first got in there, she was taking pictures of telling him how the in, interior layout was. That um, so so they knew exactly where to go once they got in, but then. Was texting about okay, I'm gonna open the door, blah blah blah, da da da. Like all that was in messages. Um, the, the other dude they, they got from, I think they, they hit so many warrants. That that's why I got a salute to. I don't want to say, say my town, but they did an amazing job. That nigga, they executed the so many warrants: Snapchat warrant, Instagram warrant. They basically had all the communicate. That's how they, they they call these guys. Like you know what I mean? The the boyfriend hit up another nigga via Instagram. Like yo, we finna go rob some people. We robbing him. Just at me. Just on like Instagram. It. Yeah. No, yeah, no nah, that's wild, though. So. That's super How are you going to say I'm going to rob a nigga and then put his at name? Social media as these niggas <laughs> dummy. Like, I don't understand. Guess, guess where them niggas was from? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Find it, right? Let me I see. Jersey. I love it. Oh, my God. Man, so, those dudes, so, I want to do hard time. I ain't got no time for that. You're, like, you're a good guy. I got to no, find no, a so, part. So what happened it's to here. They got arrested and then they get convicted? Um, Plea deals. What they're, happened? Yeah. They're, cur- they're both incarcerated. Okay. Um, how, how long ago did this happen? This happened in September. Oh, over uh, how long? September how long? How long into ago. this shit? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, right from? This mm-hmm. Definitely friends during that time, and so the uh, the, the, the girl, which which by the way, I, I, she I got arrested too. No. If, yeah. Good. She's conspiracy. Conspiracy. The fuck? You know what I mean? They got arrested, but here's she the, set it up. They got mad other charges from where they from, like Virginia. Them niggas was shooting up everywhere. <laughs> they they got these niggas as soon as they said that. But eventually, no, hold on. Like, Not even that. Listen to what already. he said after he said they was from. From where they from, like Virginia. Them niggas was shooting up everywhere. Like So they got like 15 other shooting charges. <laughs> but eventually, they're going to. And this happened in September of last year? Mm, yeah, I believe him. It's around my birthday. I'm like, mm, yeah, you got set up too? Yeah. When he said it was from Virginia, I was like, yeah, I believe this nigga. Yeah. He said, yeah, she was in here taking pictures of that. I'm like, sound like my bitch from Newport News. Oh, oh, what is that? That? I think I know the niggas got locked up. <laughs> I know a couple niggas that set I niggas up that know way. Like, them hey, niggas <laughs> gots to be more careful, my nigga. Gots to be. Academics seem like the type to fall for some setup shit over some pussy. It's the change. No, uh, the crazy thing is though, is like I know so many niggas who have either been set up like this or they fell trouble. Yeah. Like that shit fuck I mean, he didn't get set up. Yeah, I'm, yeah, he was, I'm not he was saying, having fuck with a nigga like, bitch and the, the nigga was like, pissed off. But outside of long that though, well, I ain't even gonna use that because I don't want people to think I'm trying to say long that. Long, but, long live school. Yeah, long but, live school. For sure. But I know plenty of niggas. Oh, like yeah. I might not know the niggas, I might know the, not but I know, I know bitch. Yeah, yeah I know plenty of niggas Who have been set up them. this way It's them. the easiest way I mean it's been going you, on Since the 90s If you attend If you attend a dick nigga They know You the, You going for it We get a bad joint And you ain't You really used to Bagging bad bitches Or you fall victim To you bad joint go This is an easy lit Where you stay Right out here By the park Except you oh. shouldn't be mm-hmm. Messaging each other On Instagram and Snapchat Or text me And at the niggas Like Yeah that's not That's not We, we about to go rob But academics. that's the thing so That's crazy Like you said With social media <laughs> Niggas think <clears throat> I'm gonna take this video And then I'm gonna delete it Nigga that shit Never is It's no such that thing shit. As deleting It's on their server bro it's Forever on file. That shit is up there forever You're never gonna get rid of that shit Think you got away with the shit That shit did But I mean it it happens more so than people think. It's easy for it to happen, especially with all this internet, social media sites, but and see, all this other. I stuff. ain't gonna front though. So if it's my house, number one. So that's why, like, I I still advocate for taking new joints to tellies. Yeah, always. So I used to be like, yo, now nah, I'm gonna just go to her crib because at least if something happened, I'm at her shit and I know where this bitch live. Some of them don't give a fuck. And sometimes it ain't even her crib. It's the nigga crib that's robbing you. And she just going to tell you it's her crib. So take them to the telly. Not no motel. Not no shit where no. they can just come knock on well, the they door. They got to go and walk past the front desk. Yeah, like talk to somebody. They definitely got to talk to somebody. I prefer my hotels to have key access at night. 
<laughs> yeah, like to even use the elevator. You got like, to use. You got to tap the key to even get on the elevator. <laughs> Once you get in the building. Excuse me. How did you get in here? Where are you going? Room number. Who do you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who do you know? And I'm not even telling her what room number we in. I'm I'm, I'm coming down to the lobby to meet you. I'm gonna walk you. I'm walk. coming. I'm coming to the lobby to get you. Don't worry about it. I be down there. Go down to the lobby. Goddamn woo woo woo. I know. I know some of them. They're smart. They wait until they get in that room, and then as soon as you go in the bathroom, they. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, but these niggas can't get up here though. Oh no! By the time you, but it's, and the, the stair you doors get... is locked. Like you, <laughs> like you. Yeah, very true. Very true. You, you yeah. not getting up? You here. gonna have to work for this. And if you do, this shit gonna. Getting the You think system. it's not in the hotel yeah, like, with me? We gonna be on the news systems, tomorrow. Extra locks. We gonna be on the news. That's what tomorrow. I'm saying. You All think us. it's not in the hotel with me? That's why. Like, yeah, if you it's some new shit, deal. and I'm not falling asleep here. Mm-mm. I'd be falling asleep in the pussy. I'm sorry. It depends on the situation. No, no, I'm saying if it's. I'm talking about if it's that. No, I'm not saying I I ain't falling asleep. If it's that, if I'm feel, if I'm feeling that that way, I'm not falling asleep. I don't sleep comfortable in new pussy. I can't. I can't do that. Either I'm not falling asleep here, or she not falling asleep here. Somebody not falling asleep here. (laughs) And I'm I'm kind of tired. So, shorty, I think you got it. I actually paid for this room, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my money's worth. Like I'm acting like I checked out, and, and, and right I'm trying in. to hit that breakfast buffet in the morning. <laughs> that's like, like, I'm walking out and then going right back. I just don't in. bring like, shit in with me. Yeah, yeah. Like my, I'm cool pulling up to the shorty house. I'm just not bringing shit with me, but a gun. Yeah, that's, that's it. And it's going on the dresser where I can get it. In and when I say reach. I'm not bringing shit with me, that includes a condom. Either. I'm not bringing that. <laughs> shit. Yeah, that boy, that boy, living dangerous. Boy, say, he said, I'm already <laughs> living dangerous in more ways than one. I got my, <laughs> got my protection. <laughs> Gun control means using both hands. Like, oh, you got, pro- you got protection? Yeah, I got that shit right here. <laughs> he said, yeah, I locked the motherfucking door. I got that shit right here and the door mm-hmm. locked. Be protected. Mm-hmm. If they can kick that latch off, then that means you need to get the moving and yeah. I'm about to let this thing yeah, this go. Thing about to fly. <laughs> this thing about you to fly. This thing about to fly. You better get behind me. Bottom line with this is Duck. don't yeah. trust these niggas, don't trust these hoes, Mm-mm. and keep your motherfucking eyes peeled, especially if you getting any kind of money. At all times. 